I want you to open your Bibles with me to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. 2 Timothy 2, verse 15. For our lesson here, the second hour, we're going to spend our time looking at this verse and uh, we're just going to take a little bit of time to see if we can try to understand this for verse more fully and see the ways that we can apply this verse to our life. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Paul's writing this letter to Timothy and really when you get right down to it, the purpose of the books of 1 and 2 Timothy were letters that Paul wrote to Timothy basically encouraging him to do the stuff that he was supposed to do. Timothy was sent to work with these Christians to be an encouragement to them, to teach them, to preach to them, and to help them, and he needs help himself. This is basically the help that Paul is giving to the helper here. Timothy is sent to help these churches and he himself needs some help in this. He needs some encouragement. He needs some guidelines. And that's what Paul's giving him here in the book of 2 Timothy and specifically here in verse 15. But notice what the Bible says. We, we know the verse, 2 Timothy 2.15. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay? We say this verse a lot, but do we really fully understand what it's trying to say here? Let's take a little bit of time and look at the verse. Alright, the first thing he says in the verse is study. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say something here that when I say it probably will shock some people. But this verse does not mean what we typically use it to mean. You know, whenever we're trying to encourage somebody to read the Bible more, to learn the Bible more, this is typically the verse that we go to and we say, well, look, you know, this verse says you've got to study the Bible. Study. Well, this word study here, believe it or not, doesn't really mean study like we think of. You know, when we see the word study, what we think of is getting out a book, reading it, learning it, understanding it, that kind of a thing. Study. Well, that's really not what this word here in this verse actually means. If you just take some time and look this word up in the original language, this word means to endeavor to do something. That's what the word means. It means to strive or to endeavor or to be diligent in accomplishing something. I want you to hold your finger here just for a second and I want to show you a few other verses in the Bible where this same Greek word is used. Hold your finger here, 2 Timothy 2.15. Look with me in Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 3. Now, I think most of us are familiar with the fact that here in Ephesians 4, and starting in verse 4, that's where Paul gives the big list of ones. There's one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, so on and so forth. But right before he begins to do that, right before he gives that list of ones, look at what he says in verse 3. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 3, he says, Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. The word I want you to focus in on there is endeavoring. That's the same Greek word that's used in 2 Timothy 2.15 for study. Endeavoring. It's the same word. So when you go back to 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show thyself approved, it's meaning there endeavor to show yourself approved. Do everything that you can. Strive to show yourself approved unto God. Now let's think about this for just a minute. What does that mean? If we're going to look at 2 Timothy 2.15 and we're going to understand that to mean that we've got to endeavor to show ourselves approved unto God, what does that mean? Show yourself approved unto God. Let's take a little bit of time now and look at the word approved. What's that mean? 
That word approved is a really simple word and it just simply means to show yourself acceptable. The point of 2 Timothy 2.15 is we need to endeavor to make sure that we are acceptable in the eyes of God. We need to endeavor and give every effort to make sure that we are always pleasing Him. That's what Paul is telling Timothy here. Make sure you give all your effort dedicated to making sure that you are right with God. That's the point he's getting at. If Timothy is going to do the work that he's supposed to be doing, if he's going to help Christians, then this is what he's got to be doing. He's got to make sure that he's right with God. Now here's the application we can make for us today. If we are going to be a benefit to the church, if we're going to be a benefit to the community,